If you ever wondered how you can start making money online, even as a complete beginner, this video is for you. So I'm going to just get right into it and I'm going to share the same method that I'm using to earn money online. So this is going to be a basic um, overview of affiliate marketing 101. So I'm going to go over what affiliate marketing is and how it works. So in this video, I'm going to go over how affiliate marketing works, the pros and cons of affiliate marketing, which you need to get started, some of the common mistakes to avoid and how anybody can start earning their first commission online, even as a complete beginner. So first, let me start off by explaining what affiliate marketing is. So affiliate marketing is where an affiliate promotes another person's product or company through their own marketing channels. So in other words, a person receives a commission whenever they send a customer to buy a product from a company's website. And as you can see, here's a diagram just basically explaining or demonstrating how affiliate marketing works. So when somebody signs up for an affiliate program and they, they're promoting a specific product, they're going to get a affiliate link to promote that product. Then they're going to promote it on their social media channels, maybe their own website or other blog websites. And then whenever somebody clicks on their affiliate link, it's going to take them to the sales page where they can buy that product for themselves. And when somebody buys that product, it gets tracked and the person, the affiliate, they earn a commission for every customer that they refer to buy a product from that company's website. So let me talk about the pros and cons real quick about affiliate marketing. So some of the pros are it's a low risk and it's a beginner friendly business model. You don't have to worry about investing a whole lot of money to get started with affiliate marketing. Technically, you can sign up for affiliate programs for free, but there are other softwares that you should invest into if you're looking to scale and grow with affiliate marketing. Number two is that you can earn a passive income. So when you have a sales funnel set up, all you have to do is just focus on driving traffic to your sales funnel. And that means you can earn commissions at any time of the day, even in your sleep. And number three, it's a lot easier than other business models like Amazon FBA and dropshipping. With Amazon FBA, there is a lot of cost involved just to get started with that business. And with dropshipping, you have to deal with customer service and worrying about products that are being shipped and if they're gonna get to the customer on time. Now, some of the cons about affiliate marketing is that most affiliates are building another company's brand instead of promoting themselves or creating their own personal brand. There's a lot of affiliates out there who are just promoting one specific product and that's all they're known for. But if you're using the right strategy, you can create your own personal brand and then just recommend products that you personally use and love. And number two is that it's a simple business model, but it takes a lot of work. A lot of people think that affiliate marketing is so easy. It is a simple business model, but there's a lot of work involved in order for you to start seeing results. So let me quickly go over what you need in order to get started with affiliate marketing. So the first thing that you're gonna need is an affiliate offer that you're gonna be promoting. So number two is a sales funnel. So this helps you automate the sales process whenever you drive traffic to your sales funnel. Your sales funnel is basically doing the selling for you. It's guiding people through a series of steps that get them to buy whatever product or service that you're promoting. And a sales funnel helps you also collect emails. So the next thing that you need is an autoresponder. So this helps you send out emails on an automated basis. So when people come through your sales funnel, they're gonna go to a landing page and they're gonna enter in their name and their email. And then they're gonna be sent a series of follow-up emails from your autoresponder service. The next thing that you're gonna need is a domain name and also a professional email. So this will help you get your emails delivered to people's inboxes instead of their spam folder. So let me talk about the common mistakes to avoid as a new affiliate. So spamming your affiliate link is probably the most common mistake. I made this mistake when I first got started and that just simply doesn't work. People aren't gonna click on a link from somebody that they don't know and buy a product. The most effective way to get somebody to buy a product that you're promoting as an affiliate is to add value. So another common mistake that most new affiliates make is that they promote different products in different niches. So if you're somebody who's in the health niche and you're promoting a health and weight loss supplement, and then all of a sudden you're promoting a easy battery reconditioning uh, product, something that shows people how to bring dead batteries back to life, that's not congruent. And people who are interested in health and fitness, they're not gonna be interested in buying that product that's gonna show them how to restore old batteries. And another common mistake that most new affiliates make is that they sell to anybody that they can. I know when you're a new affiliate, you're desperate and hungry for that first commission, but you wanna promote a product that's gonna actually benefit the target audience. If you're promoting a product that you know is not going to benefit or help your target customer in any way, shape or form, then I wouldn't recommend promoting that product to them at all. Because if you do this, people are just going to look at you as somebody who's just money hungry and you're not going to have a long term sustainable business. And another mistake to avoid is to just solely rely on YouTube videos 
to learn the ins and outs of this business. When I first got started with affiliate marketing, I thought I can learn everything on my own just by watching YouTube videos and I wasted a ton of time, a lot of hours researching, watching videos that were outdated or they just had uh, outright bad information. It wasn't until I invested into a training that shows you detailed step-by-steps on how to start earning with affiliate marketing that I started seeing results. So here's how anybody can start earning with affiliate marketing even as a complete beginner. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to pick a niche. So a niche is a specific category that you're going to be focusing on. So there's plenty of them out there. Health and fitness is one niche. Wealth is another. Relationships, video games, fishing. Those are all different niches that you can focus on and just create content around. So let's look at the wealth niche, for example. So wealth is a pretty broad niche. So you want to focus on a sub niche within the wealth niche. So a few examples are going to be crypto, stocks, debt settlement, and making money online. And one thing that I also wanted to mention is when you're picking a niche, I recommend that you pick a niche that you're really passionate about, something that you can talk about all day long and not get tired of it. So once you pick a niche, the next thing that you're going to do is to pick an affiliate product. So you're going to want to make sure to pick an affiliate product that is a good product and something that you actually believe in. Now, if you're promoting a bad product, people are going to associate you with that bad product and they're less likely to buy something else from you that you're going to recommend to them in the future. And another important tip is that it doesn't have to be the perfect product. It should solve at least one problem that your target audience is dealing with. A lot of people get stuck when it comes to picking an affiliate product because they think they have to find the perfect product that is going to solve all of the problems for their target customers. And then the next step is to set up a sales funnel and drive traffic to your funnel. So once you have an affiliate offer picked out, the next thing that you're going to do is set up a sales funnel and focus on driving traffic to your sales funnel. So here's an example of a sales funnel. So a sales funnel typically consists of a landing page and then people are going to be redirected to a bridge page, which has a short video of you or somebody else just giving a little bit more information about the product or service that they're promoting. Then when people watch that short video, they're going to click on a button that's going to redirect them to a sales page. And when somebody clicks on the sales page and they buy that product, then that's when a commission is earned. So once you have a sales funnel set up and ready to go, all you have to do is just focus on driving traffic to your sales funnel. So you can create content on any type of social media platform that you choose. It can be YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, your own blog website, or any other social media. And then you're going to direct that traffic to your landing page. So this page is where people are going to come to and they're going to enter in their name and their email to learn more information about the product that you're offering. Then they're going to be, as I mentioned, redirected to the bridge page, then the sales page. And then if they buy that product, then you would earn a commission as an affiliate. Now, let's say somebody makes it to the landing page. They go to the bridge page and they go to the sales page, but they don't end up buying the product. So since we're collecting their email on the landing page, what we can do is send them a series of follow up emails from our autoresponder service and basically reintroduce them to the product or service, just giving them more value, letting them know how this product or service would benefit them, talking about other people who have gotten results using this product or service. And then you're going to redirect them back to the sales page in your emails, giving them another opportunity to buy. When people come through a sales funnel for the first time, it takes multiple exposures before they're ready to make a buying decision. People typically don't buy a product or service the first time that they see it. So using an autoresponder service, just sending them a series of emails, just giving them more value and following up with them, that increases your chances of of them buying that product or service. So that's the whole process of affiliate marketing. Now, I just wanted to share a few key takeaways that I've learned in my journey to making money online. So I've tried a few different business models myself. I've tried print on demand, drop shipping. I even bought and resold items that I found from Goodwill and relisted them for sale on eBay. And I have had some success with these business models, but affiliate marketing is by far the best business model in my opinion. As I mentioned, I tried learning affiliate marketing just by watching YouTube videos alone. And I wasted a lot of hours just watching videos that had outdated information or it was just bad information altogether. And it wasn't until I invested into a training program that has a strong community and a coach to answer my questions that I started to see success. Using this business model has helped me quit my 9-to-5 job as a tow truck driver. 
when I was working as a tow truck driver, I was basically desperate to find anything that can get me out of that job because it was making me miserable and I just didn't really like my boss and I hated sitting in traffic every single day. So every day after work, I would come home, I would learn as much as I can. I would dedicate two to three hours learning this business model and practicing what I've learned. And that's what actually got me to see results with this business model. Now, my experience with this business model is that it's a journey that has its ups and downs. And there was a few times where I felt like giving up, but I knew if I did, then I would never be successful. And I would basically be stuck at that job that was making me miserable. Now, one of the most important key takeaways is that anybody who is willing to put in the work and they believe that they can be successful with affiliate marketing will become successful. So I'm posting this video in my Facebook group, but if you're watching this video on YouTube and you want to join my Facebook group to get access to more free training, then click on the link in the description of this video. But for anybody else who is watching this video in my Facebook group, if you have any questions, if you need any help, feel free to comment on this video and also feel free to reach out to me and also be on the lookout for more training in this group coming soon. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys soon.